from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Having to lie, I feel, is, is the saddest and the ugliest part of being a homosexual. Uh, when you have your first bad love experience, for instance, and you can't go to your brother or your sister and say, I'm hurting. At first, I was very guilty. And then I realized that all the things that are taught you not only by society, but by psychiatrists, just to fit you in a mold. And I've just rejected the mold, and when I rejected the mold, I was happier. These are mostly independent organizations all across the country. There's, there's somewhere between 60 and 75 independent groups across the United States, maybe more now, because they keep growing up overnight. And uh, this is a unified effort on the part of uh, somewhere between 20 and 30 organizations on the East Coast. There are differences primarily of approach and of tactics. Certain groups, for example, uh, tend to emphasize very militant confrontation tactics. Other groups will emphasize a more educational approach, going out uh, into areas where there are what you might call people who, uh, middle America people who don't know very much about homosexuality. And uh, other groups will emphasize different things. Some groups, most groups, in fact, provide some kind of social services for our own people, help for people in need. But this is a minor part of the effort. The major effort today is to change the social institutions that make life difficult for us. Is the worst incident that has ever happened to you since you've been gay, as far as being gay? Uh, I guess my parents, you know, them finding out was the worst. What is the American church? It's a sacramental Catholic church devoted to the needs of gay people, the homophile community. as a human being and as a woman. Right. Together, right? Yes. On an equal basis. But I'm for women's liberation too. I'm active in both movements. And uh, the two are definitely combined and in the two communities that have come together and found out their common denominators, which are very strong because most of the beliefs of heterosexual women and women's liberation and homosexual women are the same. Nothing else but good for the population explosion. Can you tell me what you feel about the homophile movement? I think it's great. I think it's really dynamite. And I think the only way to achieve it is through force and marches like this.
Can you tell me what you thought about Charlie Brown, the Sodom and Gomorrah guy carrying the American flag? He's a closet queen, and you can find him in Howard Johnson any night. And what color underwear did he wear? Pink. Thank you. Is your dog gay? Yes. <laughs> I'm for bisexuals myself. Do <laughs> you recommend it? Absolutely. Are That's you? where I think it's at. Thanks. Okay, people in the Great, man. Great. Do your thing, man. That's all right. What about where are you stationed? Fort Dix. Fort Dix. obviously why are you in <laughs> well I'm taking it for granted sir why are you in the parade today what is your motivation well I knew some people here and they convinced me to go <laughs> do you think that homosexuality should be legalized completely a la Illinois definitely definitely would you ever marry a girl who had been a homosexual uh yeah I think it'd be more interesting added stress of being a homosexual in a heterosexual society causes a lot of torment in the homosexual relationships of women? Yes, it does. A lot of women seem to think that if they're with women because they've rejected men in that, in that sense, but if they come to realize they're with women because they want to be and have rejected a role, then they wouldn't be guilty. <laughs> Anybody have any idea how long they have to go? As far as this thing today is concerned, I mean, it's all right to say what you feel, as long as you keep it at an intellectual level. I mean, all of this orgy stuff and all that is, I think it's kind of ridiculous, you know? Tony, if straight people can do it, why can't we? No, really, if straight people can do all this carrying on and holding hands and kissing in the park, why can't we do it? All right. They I'm ain't not, no better than I am. I'm not talking about <laughs> kissing and holding hands in the park. But I mean, like, He's talking I, about uh, liberalization. No, I'm talking about some, some guy dropping his pants, all right? I mean, stop. No, man, I've seen people fuck in the park, <laughs> women and men. All right, but that doesn't mean we have to do it. It gives but us a bad that we name. Should, we should have the right to do it. If they can do it, we should be able to do it if we want to. If we want to get a bad name for ourselves. You're right. Name. There's a kissing contest song. What does this mean? Um, it means uh, the heterosexual uh, kissing record, I believe, is nine hours, and we're going to attempt to break the record by having uh, uh, a homosexual couple beat the time. Go to it, Myra. Myra, say something to the press. Tell me how you feel about being here today. I feel it's beautiful. It's fantastic. How many years have you been homosexual? I was born homosexual. It's beautiful. Has the new movement given you an added pride or added incentive? Yes. I was sorry not to see, though, that there was uh, not some politician or something here with us today. Uh, I think Lindsay should have made it a point to be here today as well as possibly some of the gay uh, movement organizers themselves. 
at least they might have been here, but they didn't speak out to us, and they should have. Also, I think there should have been a United States flag at the beginning of the parade, which I didn't see. But I think the people were very well behaved, very well mannered, and I think the police respected us. And I think it was the showing that we'll really make it. Because if two homosexuals can live together and thrive and to be constructive rather than destructive to each other and themselves, without legal bonds, without children, without the sanction of the great society, then uh, they can demonstrate to heterosexuals they need not be so concerned with their property and their marriage and divorce laws. And you think that you're happier now that you've realized exactly where your feelings lie? Indeed, I'm just sorry that it took so long. I'm sorry that I spent so many years in the closet. Somebody dropped my lad. <laughs> I mean, it really finally comes down to finding one other person to love and be loved by, and you serve each other's needs. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.